What's up you guys, it's Sean from Rags to Boss and today I want to talk to you guys about the topic of crypto and security. Now over the last couple of months a lot of videos have been popping up about people getting hacked and specifically their MetaMask getting hacked. Now as a lot of you know MetaMask is one of the most popular Ethereum wallets and you can use it for Polygon, Avalanche and loads of other things. You can also store your NFTs in it etc. Now, this also makes it a very popular target for getting hacked. And MetaMask is actually a browser extension, but it also has an app for your phone. Now, the thing is, you can't really avoid using MetaMask because you're going to have to connect your wallets to certain sites if you are into crypto and you are going to buy the latest coins, etc. Uh, buy NFTs on Ethereum, you're going to need a service like MetaMask just because it is convenient and you cannot store everything offline. Now today we're going to talk about some ways that you can be more secure in using MetaMask and make sure that you are the hardest possible target for hackers. Now you can never completely um, mitigate the risk of being hacked but these tips are going to make you the hardest possible target and will eventually probably make sure that you do not get hacked. Right, so let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, the most important thing is to do your research when it comes to new, pro uh, new projects. So, that means do not go connecting your wallet to any kind of site. The reason is when you connect, you're not actually immediately at risk, but you are telling them your address and they can actually then see what is in your wallet. So let's say you have a couple of grand in there that might be worth hacking. So that is step one. Make sure you only connect to reputable sites. So if you're connecting to OpenSea, make sure you're going to the right URL. Make sure that it has the little lock in the top corner. And make sure you're on the right website, right? That's the main thing. Also, don't just go connecting your wallet to every poop coin site that just popped up because that is also a risk, right? Now, step two is once you have decided to connect to a website, once you're done on the website, make sure you disconnect your wallet from it. Now, you can always reconnect. You're not going to lose the balance on the site, whatever. Let's say you're on Olympus DAO, for instance, and you have your wallet connected there. They actually recommend that you disconnect your wallet in between. So once you've deposited on there, you're happy, everything's running, just disconnect your wallet. That does not mean you're going to lose your balance on the site. As soon as you reconnect, your balance will be back up on the site. Right. Now, once you've established which sites are safe, there is another thing to keep in mind, and that is that this supports smart contracts. So what that means is you can actually authorize them to empty your wallet, and I've seen this on a couple of videos. So what happens is basically they will send you the request for a smart contract, and you will not be paying enough attention, and instead of just doing the contract you thought you were doing, there will be another contract added in. So there will be multiple contracts you're signing at once. And one of these contracts will, for instance, set the spend limit to unlimited or 10,000 ETH or whatever. And that means that they can then take the balance. So if, you, if the site you're on does turn out to be shady, even if you have done your research, it is still possible that you're going into a contract that is allowing them to withdraw your whole balance. Don't do that. Read the contract, see what it means, and make sure that they are not setting the spend limit to something that you are not willing to give them, right? So that's another point. Make sure you read the smart contracts you're going in and make sure there is only one contract at a time and you are not signing multiple contracts and one of them being a malicious contract. Now, if you're on a a good website that's not going to happen but the point is you can research all you want but that doesn't mean if the website is not being flagged on google as a scam at that moment it just might be a new site right so just keep that in mind but now i'm going to get to the most important thing invest in a hardware wallet so that can be a ledger or a trezor but get a hardware wallet because what this does is 
it stores the keys for your MetaMask wallet offline in this ledger. And every time you want to do a transaction, you need to connect this either through Bluetooth or through a cable to your computer or phone. And this makes sure that even if your MetaMask got hacked, they still can't authorize any transactions and they cannot withdraw the funds. Now, these ledgers are reasonably cheap. You can get a Nano S for about 50 bucks and the Nano X for about $150. Get the Nano X. Why? Because this allows you to install much more apps and you need an app for every uh, for every coin basically. So uh, for, for the MetaMask wallet for instance you need to install the Ethereum app on this. Now apps are only a couple of hundred kilobytes each but there's only about two megabytes on one of these and on the Nano S it is much less and you can only get away with three or four apps. So make sure you get the Nano X. It is a little bit more money but it'll save you from getting the Nano X in the future anyway. And the Nano S is basically just a good backup, basically. Um, guys, if you have any questions about the security of your MetaMask, hit me up in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer your questions. Please stay safe out there on the internet. This is still the wild west after all. Um, if you like this kind of content, let me know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily crypto content. I'm Sean from Rags to Boss and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye bye!